Hello there and welcome once again to Sitam Church Online. We are here with a guest, amazing, amazing woman who is going to be taking us through a couple of things. Today we'll be talking about love and age. What is this mystery about love and age? And even as we, you know, get to celebrate um, Valentine's and what love is, this is what we're going to be talking about uh, right here on Sitam Church Online. So let me just welcome my guest and allow her to introduce herself. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor Linda. Mm -hmm. My name is Faith Nashipai. I am the men and boys ambassador. Uh, <laughs> I also, I am also a counseling psychologist and I'm happy to be here. Amen. Yeah. Karibu sana. Asante. You know, Faith, when I was thinking about this topic, I wondered who can I bring on board uh -huh. to help me demystify this topic. Yes. About Mbabas, which I'm going to talk about, talking uh -huh. about a little bit later. Yeah. Um, but as we look forward to you know the month of love right now in the month of love mm -hmm. and uh, it's an opportunity for us to not just love people or you know love your partner mm -hmm. but it's also an opportunity for us to understand what love is yes. and i'd like us to pick up from first john chapter 4 verse 7 mm -hmm. to 8 particularly verse 8 which says whoever does not love does not know god mm -hmm. because god is love yes and uh, there are very many examples in scripture. For instance, uh, Ruth and Boaz, mm -hmm. when you're looking at uh, love and age, mm -hmm. Ruth was 40 mm -hmm. and Boaz is said to have been in his 80s, yes. you know, four mm -hmm. decades. I remember when you're talking about, you're saying four decades mm -hmm. apart. So Faith, um, from an expert point of view, what do you think is are some of the things that people should look out for when it comes to love and age? There are several things mm. that uh, one should look out for and uh, one is you know the the level at which you're thinking and mm. the level at which at <laughs> let's start with that yes <laughs> the level at which a 22 year old and a 60 year old is thinking those are two very different, different yes this person at 60 is very experienced has gone through seasons has matured over time this person at 20 is just starting out life. And I, yeah. I will take it in this case where the 20 is a woman, uh, the 20, 22 is a girl mm. or a woman, mm. and then the 60 or 50 is a man. Mm. The age sets are different, meaning their cultural backgrounds are totally different. Why? Because despite being in this particular culture, the things that this person practiced at his age are not the things that the young man in his age is practicing today. That's true. His exposures are totally different. Mm. Then he's looking at this girl as a young girl, a baby, a trophy girl. Even a daughter. Or even a daughter. Yeah. You know, mm. because uh, a, a 50, 60 year old is someone probably the children have left the house. And um, what is he looking for really? Companionship, maybe. Some people might say but the, companionship. Sometimes there's no companionship in a yeah. two-year-old. Two mm. It is just the heart beating once more, <laughs> <laughs> feeling young. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then uh, you find that um, the 22-year-old is looking for maybe money. Mostly yes. it, is, it, is, it is material, it is financial. It is, I need this to be sorted. Mm -hmm. And so they end up with Mbabas. Mm -hmm. They land in a club and um, they are Mbabas who are just throwing uh, offers. Mm -hmm. So they end up with this. I just was there for that person who is uh, watching uh -huh. and they don't know what Mbabas is. <laughs> Please define what Mbabas ah, is. <laughs> Mbabas yeah. is simply a man mm. who already has a family. As in he's married yes and then he decides that he wants to have an extra relationship extramarital sexual relationship with a different woman who is way younger than himself and his wife mm -hmm. so that is what in the streets we call mbabas mm -hmm. that man is the one that we are calling mbabas mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, i look at him and i'm like why do you have to go out with your girl? Mm. But even this girl who's going out with Mbabas, there's so many things that are not working for you in the long term. Mm. 
because I've had a crazy story when when I was trying to find out fact finding around Mbabas and I picked a few girls that I'm working with and working with and I asked them what is this thing about Mbabas and exactly how does it happen they told me nowadays uh, even we girls who are in, in college I mean you'll get to year three and you find Mbabas who's promising heaven for you and you stop studying and I was this is crazy how do you just stop? Oh How do you give up what your parents have worked so hard for? Mm. You stop your life because someone is just promising and you're not sure whether he's going to be on blue pills tomorrow and he dies. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, you're not even sure whether he has any health conditions mm. and all that. Then why go out with someone who you cannot own as my you know, mm -hmm. you cannot mm -hmm. rush to support or save if he is in a situation that is compromising because you want to have him, but as a shadow. Yeah. You want to remain a shadow. Why? Yeah. Why do you want to go out with someone whom you're ashamed of? Mm -hmm. Because your status is... Mm -hmm. you, you want to show people that, yes, I have this kind of life, mm -hmm. but it is financed by these Mbabas. Then he wants to go with you to the beach. And you cannot. <laughs> <laughs> One side, I'm sorry to say this. The skin is saggy. <laughs> no, there's a nice pot belly. Oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> Just to picture it, guys. Just to picture it. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. And he's even slow. He's not the fast moving guy, you know? Mm. Why? Why look for something, someone that is really not matching your face, your time, mm. your season mm -hmm. and all that? Mm -hmm. If you want to do a joke, uh, you're worried that you don't want to go too fast with mm -hmm. him. <laughs> or he only can do a walk. Yeah, I think that's like, I think to some extent faith, ladies have punished themselves. Thank you. Honestly. Thank you. And, and what I also hear you talking about is an area of motive. Mm -hmm. What is your motive when it comes to pursuing love, mm. even with somebody who is way older than you? Um, and just dating it back to what you are sharing, the scripture you are sharing about, when it says that God is love, He's the purest form of love, and He wants to teach us what pure love looks like. And so what I also hear you saying is, um, love shouldn't be manipulative. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it doesn't say that on 13th Feb, I'm looking for my boyfriend. <laughs> Plan B, <laughs> and then on 14 Feb yeah. we are looking for Plan A. Plan A is you know, Mbabas. Who is yeah? Mbabas, mm -hmm. which is very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. And just as a parting shot, what mm -hmm. would you tell a young lady right now who is watching, or um, yeah, who is watching right now? What what would you tell them concerning motives when it comes to dating somebody who is way older than them? 21 is someone who's learning how to do some things is getting to introduce herself to relationships and getting to understand how she relates with people. If someone decides that they are going to start out with this kind of a relationship that is purely, uh, the motive is purely on financial basis, mm -hmm. where have you placed yourself, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It simply means that you're practicing prostitution mm -hmm. If I may put it in the mm -hmm. truth, yeah. it is prostitution, mm -hmm. but it is only covered in the name Babas. Mm -hmm. Because the minute one Babas is with you, mm -hmm. you will want another one to cover for other costs That's that true. are not that are that he he cannot meet. Mm -hmm. The minute this Babas goes off, you will look for another one to cater for other bills. So if someone is with you for financial gain, sexually. Um, sexually attracted or you're having a sexual engagement mm -hmm. for financial gain that mm -hmm. is i think that is prostitution mm -hmm. we can't qualify it in a different manner mm -hmm. so why do you have to use your body mm -hmm. to for financial gain you lose your dignity you lose your values you cannot this is not something that you're proud of yeah it is a life that in your in your 30s yeah. when you're positioning for a serious marriage you mm -hmm. can never talk about you mm -hmm. can never talk about. Mm -hmm. So instead of complicating your life right now, and then the Mbabas will even come and give you a baby. Mm -hmm. Is that the kind of life that you want to live? No. So 
um, this Mbabas also has another relationship with his wife. So what if there is an uh, issue of infection? What happens to you as a young girl mm -hmm. who is just starting life and this person infects you? Because in many cases, they might not even tell you that they're infected. Yeah. So there are so many angles to look at this story of Mbabas. And my thing is, can we just try the much that we can in our society to be as faithful as possible? Yeah. And the young girls, please look for guys who are your age. Uh, the young men, when I, spoke, when I speak to the young men as the men and boys ambassador, they tell me our life is just crazy. We kitumbua kime, kime, kime wekwa mchanga because now the girl is pushing with a man, uh, these, these mze mbabas who has all the money. Mm. The young man is struggling to make it. So he cannot yeah. meet up the standards of the young girl. In the needs, yeah. Only for the young girl to wake up in her thirties, she does not have a man. She doesn't have a, a, a serious relationship. Yeah. Her clock is ticking, and she decided to, you know, tell off the young men. Yeah. So now the young men are coming up. They have put their lives together, but because you mm -hmm. do not believe in them when you're in college, they are not there to believe in you now that you, according to them. The body count is too much. Let's put a pause there, Faith, because that is going to inform our next conversation um, right here on Sit and Chat Online. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Let's hear your thoughts. What do you think about this conversation? Send in your comments, send in your DMs on Sit and Chat Online. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, and we can't wait to connect with you guys. There are also uh, numbers on our screen. Feel free to get in touch with us on SMS and also on WhatsApp. Asante ni sana, Faith. You can say goodbye to our people. Goodbye. Let's see you in the next episode. Awesome.